The 6th of December 1992 was an unforgettable day for India as it was a day on which the Babri Masjid was demolished in Ayodhya. The mosque which had stood there for over 400 years was raised in a matter of 4 hours. It was a victory for the Bharatiya Janata Party which had used the mosque dispute to propel itself to the center stage of India's politics. Named after Babur, the 16th century founder of the Mughal Empire in India, the Babri Mosque had been at the centre of a dispute since the mid-19th century. It was then that the idea that this was the birthplace of the Hindu god Ram, that is the Ram Janbhumi, gained currency. The mosque temple dispute went to court in 1885 when Mahant Raghubar Das, a priest from Ayodhya, filed a suit to construct a temple on a platform in the courtyard outside the Babri Masjid. The suit was dismissed and status quo prevailed. On the 9th of the 22nd of December 1949, an idol of Ram was planted in the mosque by a crowd. The Mahant of the Goraknath Mat, Digvijay Nath, a leader of the Hindu Mahasabha, played an important role in the incident. A few days later, locks were placed on the gates of the mosque on the order of the district magistrate. In 1964, the Rashtra Swayam Sevak Sangh or the RSS established the Vishwa Hindu Parishad or VHP to mobilize Hindus for the construction of the Ram Temple. But the VHP failed to make any headway. In February 1986, during the Rajiv Gandhi government, the district court of Faisabad ordered that the locks of the mosque be opened, giving the VHP's cause a boost. It is believed that the locks were removed on the instructions of the Rajiv Gandhi government. In September 1990, BJP leader L.K. Advani launched a Rath Yatra from the Somnath Temple in Gujarat to Ayodhya to mobilize Hindus for the Ram Temple's construction and to perform Kar Seva or the symbolic construction of a temple on an adjacent plot of land. His speeches inflamed communal passions and left a trail of communal riots in the cities through which the Rath Yatra passed. Advani was arrested in Bihar before he reached Ayodhya. Among the many BJP leaders who had planned and organized the Rath Yatra was the then young party general secretary Narendra Modi, who is today Prime Minister of India. On the 30th of October 1990, the day Advani was scheduled to perform Kar Seva, a large crowd of VHP supporters attempted to reach the mosque. The Mulayam Singh government in Uttar Pradesh ordered the police to open fire to prevent them from damaging the mosque. At least 20 people were killed in the firing. On the 30th of October 1992, the VHP announced its plan to perform Kar Seva for the temple on the 6th of December. On that fateful day, more than 150,000 people gathered in Ayodhya. Almost the entire top leadership of the BJP and the VHP led by Advani and VHP President Ashok Singhal were present. The assault on the disputed structure began at 11.30 a.m. as a surging crowd broke state police barriers to climb the mosque's domes. They began battering the mosque with hammers and axes. By 4.30 p.m., all three domes were demolished and the mosque was reduced to rubble. BJP leaders watched as the mosque collapsed. While all this was unfolding in Ayodhya, the inaction outside was disturbing, both before, during and soon after the mosque was raised. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Kalyan Singh, who headed a BJP government in the state, had aided the demolition of the mosque by refusing to deploy paramilitary forces stationed outside Ayodhya. The state police too stood by, watching idly, following the government's order to stand down. As the mosque was raised, Prime Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao sat impassively in front of a television set, it is said. He remained inaccessible to even senior ministers and bureaucrats. Rao acted only after the deed was done. The UP government was dismissed that same evening and President's rule was imposed. 
but for at least 36 hours, car sevaks were allowed to do as they pleased and they went about erecting a makeshift temple on the site of the demolished mosque. The BJP governments in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Himachal Pradesh were dismissed the following day. The government banned the RSS, the VHP and the Bajrang Dal for their alleged links to the demolition. The demolition of the mosque triggered communal riots which claimed nearly 2,000 people across the country. It shook the foundational principles of the Indian Republic and the very idea of Indian nationhood was dealt a crippling blow. The failure of the state to protect a place of worship created mistrust among the minorities. It brought about a divide between Hindus and Muslims who had lived in harmony since independence barring occasional religious conflicts. In 1947, the Congress had promised a safe environment for Muslims to live and follow their religion and way of life through the constitution which was adopted in 1950. From the 1980s, starting with the opening of the Babri Masjid locks to the mosque demolition in 1992, Muslims felt betrayed by the Congress. The Muslim mass base shifted away from the Congress in the Hindi belt, especially in Bihar and UP the two states that had sent the largest number of MPs to the Lok Sabha. On the other hand, the BJP reaped the political benefits of the Ram Janbhumi movement. The consolidation of Hindu votes and an increasingly more strident majoritarian agenda helped the BJP gain an absolute majority in Parliament under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2014 and 2019. Modi laid the foundation stone of the BJP's promised Ram temple on the 5th of August 2020 on the site where the Babri Masjid once stood in Ayodhya. Almost 150 years of conflict, which had become a test for secular India, had been laid to rest by a political party pushing for an exclusionary nationalist society.